to your, your zoology class. So today we are going to start our uh, syllabus and uh, the first uh, unit what you are going to study is diversity in living world. So before going into the topic, we will have some basics. So you know, uh, in the normal class and also you might, you might have studied about the sciences and we generally call it as biology. So what is biology? Biology is nothing but study of living organisms. And this word is given by a scientist called Lamarck. Okay, so what is biology? Biology is nothing but study of living organisms. We can split biology into two words. Bio means life. Logos means steady. So steady of life is called as biology. So now if you see living organisms, living organisms are not all similar. Okay, so types of living organisms are there. So the types of living organisms are Microorganisms, plants, and animals. So we generally in the world we have these are these are the living organisms, microorganisms, plants, and animals. So microorganisms we will study as a separate branch of biology. So that is microbiology. Then, plants we will suffer, we'll, uh, learn separately and that is called as botany. And we will study animals in zoology. Okay, so now my subject is zoology and we are going to study about zoology. Exactly what is the meaning of zoology? It is a study of animal sciences. Every aspect of animal sciences will be studied under Zoology. Okay, so zoology is the study of every aspect I said. So all the aspects cannot be studied under one branch. So what they have done is zoology again they have divided and made some sub branches. Okay, students. So now we are going to study about the different sub branches under the branch of zoology. So again I repeat biology is a study of living organisms. So living organism is not a single organism. We have types of living organisms. So if we have to divide them, microorganisms means very small, not naked to our eyes. Directly we cannot see those organisms and those are called as microorganisms. Then we can see plants and animals. So uh, the study of microorganisms is under a separate branch of biology and that is microbiology. Then study of plants is under a branch called botany and study of animals is under the branch zoology. So what is zoology? Study of every aspect of animal sciences is called as zoology. So when we are specifying that every aspect of animal sciences means all together we cannot study under zoology. So we are again what did they do this? They have divided zoology into the separate branches, into sub branches. So now next we are going to study what are the sub branches which are under the uh, under the branch zoology, where zoology is under the branch of biology. Okay, students. First branch under the sub branch under the zoology is taxonomy. So taxonomy is a branch where the, the study of practice of naming an organism is under the taxonomy. So we are going to study the how they practice, there is a practice to name an organism. What practice they do, what, what exactly steps they take in naming an organism. So if you see first they identify an organism, they name the organism and then they classify them. So if you see organisms like insects will be there, fishes will be there, amphibians will be there. These all are not combined together under one group. All are different organisms. So what they do is, first they identify the organism, then they put a name for it and then they will be classifying them into some class. So that practice of naming an organism is studied under the branch called as taxonomy. 
Okay, so that's all it means nothing but study of practice of meaning and organism. Now again, there is a definition for meaning and organism, and that we can call it as nomenclature. So nomenclature is nothing but naming something. So here what we are naming? Naming an organism. Which organism? Now taxonomy will be added two types. Plant taxonomy will be there and animal taxonomy. So if we are naming an animal, then we can, then we, then we say it as an animal nomenclature. And the study or the third to study the practice of naming an organism is about an animal, then we call it as an animal taxonomy. Same way it is with a plant. So understand students what is taxonomy? So taxonomy is nothing but study of practice of naming an organism and that we can call in the short form as nomenclature also. Okay. So now we will study the second. So this is the first branch. Then the second sub branch is morphology. So morpho means structure. Again, logi or logos. It is called as stem. So steady of structure of an animal is called as morphology. When we go to the structure of an organism of an animal, if you see the external structure is not same like a, like that of internal structure. External structure is completely different from the internal structure. So here it may be confusing to study all the external and internal structure together under morphology. So what we have done is morphology is again divided into two sub branches. So morphology further divided into two sub branches. One is external morphology. and internal morphology. So you know the terms by terms you can understand external means outside the structure in the sense organs, the body shape, the covering of the body these all you will study under the external morphology. Then what about the internal morphology? The internal structure starting from digestive system, circulatory system, excretory system all these comes under the internal morphology. So external morphology is about external structure and the internal morphology, internal morphology is about internal structure. Yeah. 
organism. This is what we studied in your uh, lower classes. Okay. So when it comes to the morphology also, the external morphology, ether, ether when we have again facts. Anatomy is there, histology is there. Anatomy you will study only about the organs. Like if you take heart, okay, in that you will study heart structure, how is the external structure of the heart and internal structure of the heart, lungs. What is the shape of the lungs? What is the structure of the lungs inside our the cells? In this way, you will study about studying the anatomy, about the only organs. We will be concentrating uh, on only the organs. Whereas histology, histo means tissues. Okay, you can make the note histo means tissues. So study of tissues is called as histology. Another term is also there for histology, and the term is called as micro anatomy. Okay, micro anatomy. So in this way, internal morphology is divided into anatomy and histology. Histology is having another name called micro anatomy. Okay, clear students? So far we have discussed two branches of zoology. Quickly we will go through. Okay, Again, I will be erasing all. So taxonomy is what? It's a study of practice of naming an organism. Naming, an, naming of an organism is called as nomenclature. Okay, then taxonomy is two types. Plant taxonomy and animal taxonomy. In plant taxonomy we are going to name only plant species. And in animal taxonomy, we will be naming only animal species. Okay. Then next branch is morphology. So study of structure of an organism is called as morphology. That we are dividing it into external structure study, internal structure study. So internal is again we are dividing it into anatomy and histology. Histology, another term is micro anatomy. Okay. I hope your everything is now we move on to the next branch of the zoology. Okay. So now we will study the next branch and that is psychology. So again psycho means cell. So what it would be study of cell and cell organelles. So what are the cell organelles? The, or the, what are the, the constituents inside the cell? Nucleus, ribosomes, lysozymes, mitochondria. These all are the uh, things which are present inside the cell. So the study of cell and the cell organelles. When you take the structure of cell, this is the structure of cell. There is a poly nuclear material, that is genetical material. Then we will be having a mitochondria, ribosomes. Then we will be having mitochondria, okay? Then we will be having lysosomes. In this way, wide variety of organisms will be present inside the cell. So, study of the cell and the cell organisms is called as psychology, okay? Then, next branch of zoology is physiology. So, what is physiology? Study of Functions of the body or functions of organs and organ systems is called as physiology. So, study of functions of organs and organ system is called as physiology. For example, organs means how does the heart function? Okay, organ system. How does a digestive system will function? So, studying about the functions of organs and organ system is under the physiology. Okay, then next branch of zoology is embryology. So, embryology is where the study of events starting from the fertilization, cleavage, and development of embryo. All these three will be studied under the embryology. So, how does reproduction 
embryo will be under embryology. Embryo means what? Developing organism inside the inside the body of another organism, that is a female organism. The development of embryo is called as uh, sorry. The development, the growing uh, uh, organism inside the another organism is called as embryo. That process of development of embryo you will be studying under embryology. So development of embryo will just don't start later. So the initiation point of development of embryo is with the fertilization. So events, study of events from the point of fertilization till the development of embryo is called as embryology. Now once the embryo is developed, birth took place. Okay. Now after the birth, development of the organism will be studied under developmental biology. So next is developmental it comes under embryology only so next is development or developmental biology so what is developmental biology it is the study of development of an organism after okay so this biology is study of events after the birth okay students understood quickly i will repeat what we have done so psychology psychology is what study of cell and its cell organs is under the psychology then physiology physiology is what study of functions of organs and organ system is a under physiology then what is embryology it is study of events from fertilization till the birth or till the embryo is developed till that time what all events will be taking place those all will be studied under the embryology after birth the developmental process that is studied under the developmental biology so so far what all the branches we have studied taxonomy we studied morphology we have studied psychology we have studied with the physiology and embryology okay sixth branch we will study so in this genetics so genetics is a branch of zoology where you are going to study about inheritance of characters from one generation to another generation so it is the study of Origin 
the amphibians that means from the frogs they have been uh, originated so in this way every organism will have its origin now we take human beings only how did human being originated the, the main uh, origination for human being is from monkey so from monkey various organisms uh, has been evolved and finally that organisms has been changed and developed into a human being so human being origin will be uh, originated from the monkey so like that every organism will have its origin and the study of origin is under the evolution so evolution is study of organisms origin is called as evolution okay then next branch so next branch is ecology so what is ecology study of relation between organism and its environment
genetics where the genetics is a study of heredity then we have studied about embryology where the study of events starting from fertilization till the development of biology is called as embryology then we studied about evolution where it is a study of origin of an organism or to know about the origin organisms origin of life ecology we have studied it is a study of relationship between organism and its environment then we have studied paleontology it is study of uh, fossils of the organisms what are fossils remains of the dead organisms is called as fossils then we have studied about the pathology where observation recording and analysis of the animal behavior so students till now we have studied about the branches of zoology now we got an idea what is biology what is zoology and under zoology how many branches are there how we are going to study each and every aspect of an animal uh, you have understood in the branches okay so now we are going to discuss about the meaning of the diversity in living world diversity means what differentiation okay so diversity is nothing but differentiation we say the unity in diversity in india most uh, popular saying right so diversity is nothing but differentiation but differentiation in what in living world when you say when you say living world this world is having non living things also living things also but what we are going to study specifically the differentiation in living world 